Hello YouTube and welcome back. I thought I'd continue today with another video in this series I've been making called PhD Advice. Uh, mainly lessons that I've learned from being a PhD student and moving through up to postdoctoral work. Um, today I thought I'd talk to you about the tricky issue of learning to deal with feedback. So as you move through your work and you'll be drafting chapters and papers and conference papers and other pieces of work, um, this may be one of the first times where you experience maybe very in-depth forms of feedback. And it does vary between academic disciplines. Some are a bit more light touch, some are very, very heavy. If you're in a particularly theoretical discipline, sometimes the feedback can be very dense and hypercritical compared to what you may be used to. So as an undergraduate or even as a master's student, you may not have experienced the level of penetrating criticism that you'll get on some of your thesis chapters. Um, I wanted to say firstly this is something that the learning curve of a PhD does entail. Um, when you're publishing academic work you can, it's anonymous most of the time and uh, whether you're a emeritus professor you know, or you've got a, an extremely high level position or if you're just starting out you'll receive large amounts of feedback. And it's, it's in all honesty pr pretty much possible to critique anything in any position and the, the, the long and short of it is that you have to learn to not take it personally and the process does not go away um, no matter how senior you are. Obviously you hope to improve as you get better at writing academically in different styles and for different audiences but I guess the message for you to take away is if you've just started out on this journey and you, feed, you look at your work and you feel you're being harshly judged or criticised I'm afraid this is, well normally no you're not but it's typically the standard of the standard of the area of work, to be honest with you. If you work in the field of academia, people will take what you what you write for them, deconstruct it into small pieces and then hand it back to you. And I've, I've seen plenty of unfortunately tearful PhD students who've um, have been learning to go through this process, not necessarily assuming that it's going to be as supported as an undergraduate or a master's program, because typically it's not. This is kind of your, your training wheels are just about to come off and uh, you're being trained as a professional who can stand on their own two feet and people won't hold back necessarily about their criticisms of your work. So instead of the difficulties of it, it might be beneficial to see how you can think about this as a, a lesson to move forward, to develop new skills, to highlight the areas that need improvement um, rather than taking it as a personal affront uh, because I'm afraid it just doesn't go away. Um, I, I've been through it, everyone goes through it, and it's not fun, and it's not enjoyable, but you will probably have to find a way to manage the way you deal with deal with the fact that you're receiving large amounts of feedback and critiques of your work, probably more regularly and of a more in-depth nature than you were before. So, um, yeah, it, it's a tough love situation, but it's only through those types of feedback, typically, that you can identify where you need to improve, what you could do better, and if you can have a an open, honest, frank discussion with your peers and your mentors, then you'll make progress in a way that you wouldn't if you take your criticism to heart. Um, it makes it so much harder to write. So yes, I'm, if I could advocate anything, it's don't don't make your work your own personal baggage. Uh, you know, if you can separate your research from yourself, sometimes it helps to put a bit of decent distance. So when you receive lots of red ink on what you've done. It allows you to work through it without feeling too downtrodden about the process. But equally, take away messages that it happens to everyone. I've seen seething professors about things they've submitted. Obviously, um, peer review is meant to be anonymous, so they never knew about the critiques they get. So there is hope, and you can improve, but it just takes a bit of humility in getting used to the process. All right, that's all. Have a great day.